Okay, to get this working, first you need all the assets that I've provided via the link on our computing page. Um, it will look like this when you click on it. Don't download them individually, just download them all at once. That should download a zip to your downloads folder. Then extract that and we want to select all of these and we want to bring them into our assets folder down here. So we have our Unity open over here and our, our assets that you've extracted over here and we're just going to bring them, oops, we're going to bring them, select them all, what's going on here, select all, and then bring them down into our assets. And once we've got them in there, now we don't need anything else. So I'm just gonna maximize this window. If your Unity doesn't look uh, the same as mine, don't fear, it's just because I'm using the wide layout. That's how I like it. Now, we, I have a terrain in here already that I've resized to 200. I have a first person controller. You should know how to do those and insert those things from the previous videos. First thing I'm going to do is let's put in a, a shoot script on the first person controller. So I'm going to insert an empty game object. I'm going to call this game object the shoot. And I'm going to put it under the first person character. So I want this object to move with my um, first person controller as I uh, move with my mouse as well. So I know that he is facing that way. So I want this, these are where the projectiles are going to come out of. So I'm going to now apply the shoot FPS shoot script to the shoot game object. Now I have a few variables here. I can open this script. Let's see what happens if we open this script. FPS script. Shoot this one. While we wait for that to open, we know that there's some variables here that we need to set. So the projectile. Let's find a projectile. We don't have a projectile. So let's make a prefab. A like template projectile. So I'm going to just simply use a sphere around object and I'm going to call it a bullet. And that bullet is going to come into here, my assets. And that comes now a prefab that I can now use in my script. So if I go back to my shoot, the projectile is going to be, I'm going to drag my bullet into, oh, it has no rigid body, so let's click on it first and add a some physics and a rigid body to that. Now let's go back to our shoot and drag the projectile. Um, the scored is the audio, so every time I click I want a shotgun sound. And this is the sound. So again, same thing, asset, drop into that variable place. Let's, let's play and see what happens. Okay, at the bottom it says there is no audio source attached to the shoot. Okay. So we are going to come down here, shoot, and we're going to add an audio listener, audio source, sorry, because that's where the audio, the shot sound is coming out of. Uh, let's see what happens now. Whoa, it's going sideways. So we need to rotate our, our shoot object. So there's an invisible object here, the shoot object, and it's shooting that way in the direction of Z. So let's turn it around and point it forward 
pointing in the same direction as our first person controller. So that's sort of guess. And maybe I'll try and lift it up a little bit. Now let's see what it looks like. There you go. Perfect. Now, we need to make a switch which will build an automatic wall using a, a for loop. It sounds complicated, but it's not because I've already done it for you. But uh, you will have to edit it in one of the assessments that's coming up. So let's just put a cube in, and I'm going to make this a switch. Uh, this can be our switch. We'll call it trigger. Trigger bridge. And we will now put a script on the first person controller. So this is the FPS script. I'm going to drag that onto the first person controller. And that first person controller script, not that one. This one needs a prefab, a brick. And that is was included in those downloaded files. So here's the brick. I'm going to drag that into the brick prefab. We're going to leave this other prefab uh, variable for later, so don't worry about that yet. Uh, we will now go and have a look what happens. So this should trigger a bridge or a sort of wall thing. And they should all follow physics. Okay, so there's a lot of balls around. It's going to be not, it's not very efficient in terms of uh, the programming in the computer. They need to sort of disappear um, as we shoot them. So let's have a look at some of these scripts here that we have. Uh, bullet. So on our bullet, we're going to add a little script on our bullet prefab. So this is the thing that the projectile that comes out of the, the invisible gun. We're going to click on the bullet and add the bullet script here. Now this bullet script, let's have a look. When it when a bullet is um, created, it calls this start function once and inside the start function it says destroy this game object, which is the bullet, um, with a delay of two seconds. So let's see what happens now when we shoot. One, two, gone. So that way if we have all these bullets, we can, uh, you'll notice in the hierarchy down here, um, it won't it will it'll help our computer not get overloaded with, with objects. So, what do we need to do next? Our, our bridge or our bricks. Our bricks need a, uh, a script added to them also. So, this pre written brick script looks very complicated but you uh, should be able to follow because I've put comments in explaining each what each line does so don't don't try and feel like you have to understand everything in here some of the things I still don't understand how uh, unity uh, well, more 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 on the, the syntax so I don't understand what the scored audio clip and audio source variables are for well, I do know what they're for, but I don't know exactly how they work. I just know that when they use this way, it plays a sound. So this script will allow us to, if we put it on there, blow up bricks on our prefab. Here, our explosion prefab. We need to now uh, define what happens when a brick disappears or when, when its health reaches zero. So that's what this folder here is for, which was also included in your download. 
we're going to use just one of these basic detonator. Uh, these were actually downloaded from the asset store. Uh, explosion effects. So we're going to select our brick and for our explosion prefab we are going to click on here and just put in one of these. We're also going to put in a sound, an explosion sound for the prefab here. And now let's see what happens. We've made the bricks or the wall. Now how many shots should it take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, something's wrong. So this is good because now we start to delve into why and how the script works. So let's open up this brick script. And so on when a brick is always looking for something or uh, when something hits the brick, it's asking what, uh, what it collided with. And inside of here, it's saying if the object that it collided with or the object that hit the brick has a tag of bullet, then take some health off. Then if the health eventually reaches zero, because we initially set it to 100. So here, every, every hit, it, it takes 25 off, which is a quarter. We'll set it to 50, so it doesn't take so long. So only two hits, and then do this, play that sound. So blow the blow up sound, explode sound, and also, um, create a copy of and in, instantiate a copy of um, the prefab for the explosion. So it makes it look like the brick disappears and explodes. So our problem here is we haven't tagged our bullet. So let's go back to Unity and let's click on our bullet. Our bullet is untagged at the moment up here. So let's add a tag. Here we go, click on plus and we call it bullet. Let's go back to bullet and now we can tag it as a bullet. So every time we shoot, it creates a clone of this and it's now they will all have a tag of bullet. There you go. It went a bit funny, but it worked. So we hit that, we hit it again, it should blow up for the third time because it should be at zero now and our condition is um, less than zero. There you go. That blow up thing is pretty cool too because it has its own physics. So this is where I want you to get today uh, during this lesson might take a little bit because you have to fiddle and understand the, where the scripts go and not get confused by all the different um, elements on here. So you have to make sure that this is called trigger bridge. Um, you have to make sure that that bullet has a tag of bullet. You have to make sure that the first person character underneath has a shoot empty game object and that has a script on it. You also have to make sure that this FPS control has its um, FPS script on it. Uh, we won't delve into this script yet. That is for, remember I was talking about leaving this prefab um, blank for the time being. So later we will trigger something to happen, which will be similar to a scare sort of object that will you will trigger and it, it will appear and make it, make it sort, of, sort of like a noise or try and scare you. So we'll do that later.